Hello there, mortals. I am Jensen and... Wait, what is it? Is there something behind me? Okay, this is going to be a rough one, I think. This is chapter three of Poppy Playtime. I have been looking forward to this as much as I have not been looking forward to this. And this chapter is chapter three, Deep Sleep. In the aftermath of the train crash, which we experienced, you now find yourself stranded in the depths with a new goal in your sights. And I'm hoping, like hell, that this is not that goal, because I hate to break it to you, not every hole is a goal. All right, let's make the bold choice of hitting new game and see what intro we, we get to see now. The time. Playtime! Or 2.30 p.m. Where I am. Okay, so we've got more nightmare fuel, it seems, and they are not even hiding the fact that it is now nightmare fuel. What's this all about? Okay, 5 past 10 p.m. Oh. Be okay, guys. I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. These are kids, right? These have got to be kids that were stuffed into the the dolls to make them so lifelike. Or representative of such. Ugh. Oh! Catnap! Please help us go to sleep, catnap. We need it, catnap. Please help us. Sleep, sleep. I think that's an allegory for death. <laughs> or drugs! <laughs> Hello, Catnap! Okay, I'm gonna have Everyone to freeze frame all of this. And Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters. Well, I don't have kids. series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. Bill this Cosby? Oh. is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and... And drugs fly out. innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. Drugs fly and beside out! them, their little, grinning catnap doll. Now, with controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His That's very self-aware. cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap. That is very cool. That is such a cool concept. It's very, very different from what we have experienced so far though, which is kind of like metaphysical transferal of consciousness into another doll. So it seems like Catnap is kind of supposed to be lined up as, like, the harvester, I suppose, to lure the children into the factory to be converted into these dolls in the first place. Which is... Oh, okay! Find a way out! Oh, whoops, I've accidentally taken control of my character. Oh, it's kicking off! Okay! We are literally in the trash compactor! Okay. Oh, no, this is not good. This is actually very bad. I would consider this to be a very bad thing. Oh, piss! We're gonna get splashed! That cat has sent us dust to death! Okay, we are now in the inner machinery. By pure luck, go for objects to pull yourself up. I see one! Oh, now I have to remember the controls. In the previous couple of chapters, we were seeing kind of like how mommy and and huggy were what the hell we're kind of being set up to be antagonists in the first place right okay there we go and it seems like now we're getting a bit of an insight to the scale of the economics that really led us to where we are now i hope everybody is also really enjoying the new graphics fidelity of my computer i got a brand new graphics card and it slaps 
Okay, I'm looking for around for collectibles. I don't see any. I'm gonna jump on this and I'm gonna jump on this right next. Is there anything we can steal, maybe? No, there are no collectibles, it seems, and no tapes either. Okay, I'm going. Where is this gonna take us? Ah! That's convenient! Uh, or not. That was really weird, actually. I don't know what to say. I think I just fell through a piston. What about that button? What does that do? What about that button? I don't think it does anything, actually. I think it's literally just a colored bolt for the sake of colored bolts. No! Oh, I almost had a... We've got health? Ah, that's new. I think a mad sprint from here to here to here is best case, right? And then we jump over here and now we are in the clear. Okay, then. All right, what are we looking for? Are we looking for lore? Are we looking inside of these barrels for maybe collectibles or... Um, do we take this explosive propane canister and, and toss it down the gullet of that cat? Uh, this seems stuck as hell. What about this? Can we move this? This seems like a direction that we can crawl into, right? Like, by definition... Okay, we can't do anything here. And I'm stuck. Oh no! I've already broken the game! No! This is really embarrassing, actually. <laughs> we can't stand up. Oh, maybe we can kind of like... Rotate this barrel out of the way so we can kind of get past it. Like this. I can hear it thumping around. Maybe if we just pull it this way. No, we've actually just wedged ourselves in further. <laughs> what a thrilling start! I'm also dead certain, by the way, that the cats that were distributed are kind of like... They're, they're just drug dispensaries. And I don't mean dispensaries as in like marijuana. I mean like an actual drug dispensary. Okay, we'll speed up here. Hopefully we make it. We made it. Good. And we'll come across here. All of it's coming back to me now. Okay, let's control to crouch through here. Apparently we weren't supposed to know that yet. Anything else? We don't have a flashlight. Just a little bit of a shit. What the hell is that? Is that just debris? Is that debris? Okay. Doesn't really look like anything important. There doesn't seem to be anything down there of note either, so I think we just continue onwards, right? Alright, do we go up or down? That is the next question on my lips. On my luscious, thick lips. Which I know I have, I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses, I've got nice arms and thick lips. And I'm trying to hide them, I'm trying to hide them better, that's why I've got this moustache. What's in there? That appears to be a backpack of some sort. Can I have that? Is that a collectible? No, I don't think so. I think it's just lore. I think it's supposed to suggest to us that there were actually children who kind of like escaped this area. But I also think that this game takes place like 10 years after the events of, you know, the stuffing into the, the, the dolls. Is that blood or drugs? I can't tell if that's blood or drugs, because I know the drugs that came out of Candy Cat's mouth. No, good night. No, Nap Cat. Cat Nap. Cat Nap. That's his name. They were red. They were red drugs. In fact, it could have even very well been scopalamine. Help! Uh, no help's coming here, unfortunately. Do we... Do we jump up here? No. What are we doing in here? Do we have to interact with something? Is there a button or a cell phone or something that we can use to call the police? No, of course not. Okie dokie then! Right, so if I just carry on here... Well, this looks ominous. In fact, this actually looks like Insidious, the red door, doesn't it? Oh, I love how it said press E to interact after we figured out how to interact. Thanks game! Thank you! Everybody say thank you to the unhelpful game for the badly timed tutorial! Okay, what's in here? I probably should have looked through the window before just bursting in here, like an absolute stupid ape. What is that? Is that a ball sack? Oh no, it's a Stegosaurus! <laughs> it's one of those Stegosaurus toys, and it looks like it's been impaled. Okay. So here's what I'm kind of- oh, it is drugs. The red stuff is drugs. Here's what I'm getting at. I think that the catnap cat has basically taken it upon himself 
to... How do I put this delicately? Uh, murder all of those children. Okay, I didn't actually need to jump on that. Like, ooh, ooh, okay. We're being stalked. So Catnap is, uh, is, is doing the mercy, right? He's doing the Mother Teresa thing where sometimes the quality of life of a patient is just not worth having. No, that was close. That was so close. I almost just fell into the drugs. We don't want to get drugged. We don't, we don't want the cat to drug us. Or do we? I don't know. We could actually be a child that's stuck in here. I wonder what Poppy thinks about all of this. Because it is her playtime. And we're just kind of along for the ride, aren't we? Oh no, something's going to jump out at us, isn't it? The second chapter had the foresight of actually planting Mommy on the map. So that we could actually sue her right before she attacked us. I go into any of these things. Oh, wait. What if I grab? What if I... Oh, that did the trick. Okay. I didn't realize that this thing on a um, weird ropey cable that we can wrap around things had such tension to push that open. What is this? This is like a staff room, right? There's got to be a staff room. Blue thing, two power nodes. Place the battery into the socket to supply power. Oh, we're going to need a battery of some sort for that now, aren't we? Okie dokie. There's a book here. It's empty. There's some candy. There is another impaled plush here. That's Candy Cat. I recognize Candy Cat. I do see the TV over there, which would probably indicate that there is, in fact, some form of tape. Probably, probably this one. Let's watch it. All right, Miss Harper. Please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, luck any not, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. <sighs> Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand and mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. <sighs> she saw something. To something horrible. She. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes. A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh. I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her, see how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. I've got a theory. But vital, show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. <laughs> Man, they really went above and beyond for this voice acting, right? I wonder if I can do that. No, I can't. I don't know how to do that scream she just did. That's really hard to do. Wow, okay, so here's the theory, right? That's a disturbing pillow. I think that Playtime Co. have a bunch of people who follow the children who have ended up with these catnap cats. The cats drug the children, which, which primes the children to be kind of... I don't know how you'd say. Uh, yeah, to get ready to be stuffed into a suit. Right? And there are people that go around and uh, they, they get the children and they throw them into the van. They wear those gas masks because the room is, is full of the stuff. And I also feel like it doesn't... That's not a monster, right? It's a person. It's a person wearing those gas masks. And I've got a sneaky suspicion that the gas is going to become a mechanic... In the future. Also, that gas mask reminded me a lot of Team Fortress 2. I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Okay, let's do this fingerprint scanner. 
we have been scanned and it is uh, quite positive. Hello there, Mr. Elephant. We've got to talk about this, right? We, we absolutely have to talk about this elephant in the room. I'm Bubba Bubbafint. Hey, I remember you. Is this a recording? An elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you? Yes, I do. I do. do did you see me get stuffed into a doll? <laughs> I think it is. I think those are supposed to be like our screens. Okay. I tried to pull that sign over, but it didn't take. There's a lot of blood on the floor right here. Or tomato sauce. I suppose we're about to find out. Hello? Hello, hello? There's a lift right here. I'm not seeing any collectibles around the place. So either they're really well hidden or they're really far and few between. Uh, let's ascend these bloodied staircases. So here's the thing that we never figured out, right? Are we stuffed into a suit and when we woke up in the lobby, were we here for the last decade in some kind of coma? All right, we gotta jam that there. Very cash money. Okay, we're up to another puzzle. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I don't know how to- oh! Hello? Hey, can you hear me? You're yeah, can you see me? Lost. I, I am! To die, so I'm gonna help you. Thank you! Pick what up? Oh, I see. Okay. Thanks. That was, um, uncharacteristically helpful. And also, why did you cover the door? So immediately, straight off the bat, I'm being led to assume that we're not speaking to Poppy because it's a different voice. I imagine we're actually speaking to another doll that's uh, been stuffed into a suit by the people who work for Playtime Co., not Catnap. Catnap, I think, was the first one to be stuffed into a suit. You know, the prototype, so to speak, and then they kind of condense the souls of the children e into an even smaller doll. So I think that Catnap is kind of like the first, and Catnap just wants Whoa. to give a mercy. Did you do that? Yes, I, I did! I guess that's where Catnap found you. I know you're probably mad at Poppy for not letting you escape, but she needs you. We need you. You are right. her mission. Was that shave we'll a lot of people? You. straight ahead. It's the home of Catnap. One of the smiling critters. There used to be eight of them, I think. Now it's just him. Blake is his church. His hunting ground. Whatever he wants it to be. You better get moving quickly. We'll keep in touch. Oh, and by the way... My name is Ollie. Nice Hi, Ollie. You. Yes, lovely to meet you too, my dude. Or girl. It could be Olivia. It could be Oliver. And I would be an absolute asshole if I just assumed. I don't really see any law posters. I see uh, Mommy right here and a tiny little helper bot. Uh, Jack, in this, Jack in that train. Maintenance. Let's go in here. Can we go in here? What the hell is that? There's a couple of big grippy things on the side of it. I imagine it's kind of like a, um, like a, a winding crank. We have to kind of tug on the sides of it. Security? Awesome! Can we barricade ourselves in here? Maybe, uh, maybe hold out for the rest of our lives? Which could be forever. What the hell? Why is this? Did I break this already? I think I broke the chair already. That's funny. Okay. It doesn't look like we can take any of this paper or dossiers. What about this button? Nope, nothing. What about in here? Anything around here? See you again soon! Yes! You will, because we can't leave. So yeah, I've got a sneaky suspicion that we, are, we have been here for a long, long time. And we probably... Have to save ourselves to save... Well, we have to save everyone else to save ourselves. All right, grab the handle and rotate with Q and E. Okay, sure. Aim the beam at the power unit. I'll just... I'll figure it out myself. Oh, I see. So this thing here? 
Is that... What the hell? That is a cool mechanic. I actually adore that. Very cool. Can we take a broom for safety? What about one of these, uh... Coffee machines? Paper guillotines? I have no idea. It'll be a bomb for all I know. Alright, sh should be able to go through now, right? Yep, looks like it. Excellent. So... Looks like there's a bunch of merchant stuff that we could probably overanalyze. Litter stops here. No, it doesn't. Is Candy Cat Snacks not really interested in the snack because I'm not really a person. Uh, let's look at Budget Chica's lore. Hey, I'm Chicken Chicken. Want to go outside and hang out? Sure. It's looking pretty bad outside. I've never been outside before. Oh. Will you come with me? I'm scared. Uh, you and I both, little buddy. Here, follow me. I'll step out first. Okay, another theory that I just want to throw into the ring, I've got lots of hats being thrown into this ring, is that we are kind of on a, a wide area network, and once we leave this wide area network, we start going unconscious or disabled in some way so that we can be retrieved by Playtime Co. Because we're not allowed to leave the location. Anyway, uh, I've seen enough for now. I am going to end the episode and I'm going to thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Poppy Playtime. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And just over there is my subscribe button, even though it doesn't need to be there. Because right over there is also a subscribe button. Down in the description of this video, you'll find a link to my Discord where you can reach out to me personally. And until I make the next episode, thank you so much for watching again. And goodbye!